Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Power Up Boxing here. So what did you guys think of the Sergey Kovalev versus Canelo Alvarez fight? Because uh, uh, I was very disappointed. Uh, I uh, I want to see a good fight. <clears throat> and I was, I was really, <clears throat> really excited for the fight. Uh... Like, I thought Canelo was, like, like taking a big risk. He was, I gave him, I gave him big respect for stepping up and fighting Kovalev. Even though Kovalev, maybe not as looking good as he usually does lately. But he's, he's getting older, out of his prime. But uh, he's still a dangerous guy. Maybe he has some, he has wear and tear. Uh, chin, maybe his chin's not as good and stuff like that. But, uh... It's still, I was very excited for the fight just because Kovalev's a big, light heavyweight with skill. And Canelo was moving up two weight classes, so it was going to be interesting. Uh, obviously, he, fight out, he fought at 168 before, but against 981, that special, really. Uh, that English guy, I forget his name now. But uh, I don't know if it was Liam Smith or something, I forget. Or maybe that was a catch weight, I forget. But uh, it was a big step up in weight. So I was excited to see like how he would do uh, against uh, a big light heavyweight with skill. And uh, I was disappointed in the fight. Because either guy didn't perform that good at all in my opinion. Like I know Canelo won by a good knockout. A very good knockout punch. Uh, combination punches I think it was a uh, right hand left hook right hand uh, and it was very that was that was good but other than that <clears throat> Canelo did nothing during the whole fight and uh, Kovalev was winning the fight in my opinion easily he was winning the rounds because Canelo wasn't throwing anything but even though Kovalev was winning the rounds he wasn't that good either because he was like he was, his punches had nothing on them. It's like he was afraid to throw his punches with conviction. He didn't want to, uh, he was just throwing weak, like, arm punches. Like, weak, uh, no, nothing behind them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, pity pat punches. Like, he was, he didn't want to, like, uh, commit to any of the, his punches. And he, it was just weird because he wasn't throwing any power punches really at all. Like, uh, like, like, I mean, he was throwing, he was mostly just throwing the jab, but even when he did throw other punches, he had no power behind them. It's like he wasn't even trying to put power in them. So I don't know if he was just afraid of leaving himself open, but that doesn't make sense to me because he's fought bigger guys and he was never afraid of them for, uh, letting his hands go and throwing, throwing them with conviction, his punches. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, I was just disappointed with both guys' performances. Uh, it was a very boring fight. Uh, like, right after that fight, the next week was Logan Paul versus KSI 2. That was a way better fight, in my opinion. That was a way better fight, uh, by far. Uh, you got your money's worth for that. And recently, the Wilder versus Ortiz fight was a way better fight, obviously. Like I said, Wilder wasn't throwing his that many punches, but you could tell both guys were trying to win the fight very hard. Luis, Luis Ortiz was trying to knock out Wilder with every shot, but Kovalev didn't look like he was trying to knock out Canelo at all. He was trying to cruise to a decision, or it was like a sparring match, to be honest. It's like, I don't know what happened. It, it kind of looked like he got paid off or something, or he wasn't, he told, he was told not to try hard, or what, I don't know what was going on. Like, or both guys were told just to treat it like a spar match or some uh, something. I don't know. But, like I said, I don't know. Maybe, like I said, uh, Kovalev said he came out with a statement on his IG, his Instagram, saying he's been getting a lot of criticism for his uh, his performances or his for, for his performance uh, against Canelo. And he doesn't know why he is, but... It, 
it's easy to see, like I said, I'm criticizing it, but he came up with a statement and he said that the reason why he didn't do that good is because he didn't have ample time between the Anthony Yard fight. So he was jumping in like, a, I think it was like a 10 weeks after that fight, he fought Canelo. So that wasn't enough time for him to recover from that fight. But it could go either way. Unless he was like injured or something, obviously it would affect you big time. But uh, you're sharper, you would think, from going from one fight to another fight. You'd think you'd be sharper, but at his age, maybe the wear and tear, like I said, his body's not recovering. He, he gets burnt out. So maybe that was the reason why. I don't know, right? We can't just say he got paid off or he was told to take it easy on Canelo or whatever, some kind of conspiracy. We can't really... We don't have any evidence with that. We know boxing's corrupt. We know Canelo's going to get the decision no matter what. And we knew that. He was down on the scorecards, Kovalev, even though he was winning almost every round. So either way, he was going to lose. Uh, but, like, you got to take Kovalev's word for it. Obviously, he's not going to say if he got paid off or if that actually did. He's not going to say it, but you got to just take his word for it that he was just burnt out. He didn't recover from his last fight. And uh, his body wear and tear at his age, he just, he couldn't pull the trigger like he usually uh, does uh, with, and uh, he was afraid of maybe getting tired as well. So that's why he wasn't putting power in any of his shots. But I was just disappointed with the performance by both. Even if they were trying, it didn't look like they were trying to me. But like I said, boxing is a tough sport. Maybe on the outside it looks like they weren't trying, but maybe they were very they were trying hard. Like I said, Canelo's a smaller guy, so it's harder for him to be as active as he would against a smaller guy or a guy his size, because he has to be careful, right? He's dealing with a bigger puncher, a bigger guy, so we can't just throw. The more punches you throw, the more you're going to be open. So he has to be smart about what punches he's going to throw against Kovalev so maybe that's why he wasn't as active he wasn't doing much but and then Kovalev on the other hand like I said maybe like I said he was just burnt out he he, he didn't recover from his last training camp his last fight and uh yeah he just or he was afraid of getting tired against Canelo he was afraid of the counter shots the body shots counters from Canelo I don't know we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but all I know is Canelo's always going to get the decision. And that's the really, that is what bugs me about the Canelo. It's not his fault, but that's what bugs me about Canelo is the judges are always on his side, no matter what. And obviously the PED allegations, obviously he tried saying it was just the tainted meat, but I don't know about that, to be honest. The guy's making millions of dollars. You would think he would get... He, You think he would be making sure... Someone in his camp would be making sure he's getting clean meat. You're making millions of dollars and you can't get clean meat. What are you getting... Buying meat from like a... Like a... Like a store on the side of the street. Like a... Like a what do you call it? Like a wooden wouldn't stand on the corner of a Mexican street. You're just buying meat from there. So, like, I, I don't know. Uh, and I think one of his people in his camp, Renoso or the other guy, is an actual, he's a butcher. So I don't know why, when they know they test for that, sh that stuff, why they would uh, <clears throat> knowingly just eat a random piece of meat that could be, he could test for that. So it makes no sense but anyway, other than the PDs and the judges always on his side, I like Canelo. He's he's a good fighter. He's got very good combination punches. He's a good athlete. But I don't think he's a complete fighter. I think he does. The judges really do help him out. He'll win every close fight. And he does have slow feet. His footwork is slow. His hand speed is quick, but his, so he's not a complete fighter. His footwork is slow. But like I said... Uh, other than that, that's not really his fault. Besides the, unless he knew he was knowingly consuming PEDs, then obviously, like that's, uh, if he did know, then obviously that, that would be on him. But 
other than that, if you didn't know he was, and if he, obviously the judges, if he doesn't know the judges are on, like that's not his, maybe that's out of, that's out of his control. That's not his fault. But anyway, disappointed. It looked like a sparring match to me. <clears throat> no one really had urgency to really try to win, it looked like. Uh, it was just anticlimactic kind of fight. It ended with a knockout, but it was weird because the fight was so boring up until that point that the knockout didn't have as much to it because it was just like a like a weird, like, oh, we knocked him out out of nowhere. So it was kind of weird. But anyway, I was just disappointed. But we don't know. Boxing's a hard sport. Maybe they, like I said, they were trying the best they could. It just didn't, it just appeared boring to us. But some fights are like that, you know get in the ring, you'll notice that not all fights are, like, it's harder than it looks. Like, you could be trying your really hard, and it might look boring to the outside, right? People like to see punches being thrown, and that's what was not being thrown by Canelo during the fight. And then, on the other hand, Kovala was throwing punches, but he was throwing weak punches. You could tell he wasn't putting any power behind them, so it was just a, it was not a good fight. It left a bad taste in your mouth for boxing, in my opinion. If you were a new boxing fan watching that boxing for the first time, that would not be a good look. But anyway, that's my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. I thought the KSI Logan Paul 2 fight was way better than that. I thought the heavyweight fight, Dante Wilder, Vic, Luis Ortiz, that's a real boxing fight. Those are good fights. Let me know, guys, though, what you think. And thanks for watching.